Right, many thanks for staying tuned. Good morning to you and welcome to the ENL segment of the Breakfast Live Show. My name is Lebene Abrokwa. Now, there's a lot happening in the system, I always say, but no matter what happens, the lion will never eat grass. Stick to that and, and it's going to be okay with you. This morning, we're talking about breast cancer. It's October and as usual, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I have here with me Leticia Gazette from Jaffa Healthcare Africa. Good morning to you, madam. Good morning. Right, thanks so much for, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Right, so it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. When, when we say risk factors, what are we trying to say? Okay, when we say risk factors of breast cancer, mm. uh, there are things that really put you at a, a particular place that you can get breast cancer easily, mm -hmm. since we don't have a cause, mm. okay? So that is, um, we will talk about breast cancer uh, uh, risk so. today. Yeah. All right. So, so um, what are some of the risk factors? So when we say breast cancer risk, um, the fact that you're a woman mm. puts you at a very higher risk of developing breast cancer. Mm. Because um, breast cancer is believed to be hormone driven. And these particular hormones are female hormones, okay? Right. So if you're, you are a woman, your risk goes up because you have such a hormone in you. Mm. So then another one is, and, and that one is a biological factor. You can't right. change the fact that you're a woman. Of course. And the next one is hereditary. It's also a bi biological factor. Mm. The fact that you belong to a family that cancer runs through, especially breast cancer, your risk of developing breast cancer is high. Research shows that... Um, there is a gene called BRCA gene that's, mm. that runs through a family. Right. A particular, let's say my mother has that gene. He can transfer it to me and, to my, and, and also from me to my offspring. Mm -hmm. And that will put us at a higher risk of developing breast cancer. Mm. And, and going forward, we will say that obesity is also one of the mm -hmm. risk factors. Mm -hmm. Research mm -hmm. shows that the more you, you add up weight, the body has to compensate for the extra, for right. the excess weight that you have added. Mm. So when you are obese, it's believed that uh, the hormone estrogen also goes up. And uh, research shows that the hormone estrogen uh, is driven when it comes to cancer formation. Okay, so that also puts you at a higher risk of developing breast right. cancer. So, so let's talk about hygiene. Okay. Is it also part? Uh, hygiene might be part or might not be part. Mm. I will say that because, I will explain. I will say that because um, putting on your bra, if your bra is dirty, mm -hmm. you are not, uh, the breast will not be healthy enough. That doesn't mean that it will cause a cancer. Mm -hmm. But rather when you, are, you put on a very small brazier that suppresses the tissues of the breast, that rather can give you a, a, a breast condition which might not be a cancer for a long time, a long period of time because you, there is a pressure mm -hmm. on the tissues and the veins of the breast in a long term you can we can put you at a higher risk of developing breast cancer. Right, so what's the simplest way to examine the breast by yourself? Okay, the simplest way to examine the breast by yourself is to stand in front of a mirror, mm -hmm. okay, and put your hand uh, around your waist, okay, mm. then you look at your your breast in the mirror. There mm -hmm. are so many signs that you have to look for. Right. We call that one observation. So you mm -hmm. look at how the color of your breast is, since you know your breast more than any other person does. Right. Look at the color of the brain, uh, your, your breast. If the breast color changes, there's patches on it, mm -hmm. as if you've bleached the breast, mm -hmm. it's a sign that you might be developing a breast cancer. If there's a dimple in the breast, the breast is actually smooth, so if yours is like a uh, lemon, lemon, uh, the outer of the lemon, mm -hmm. that means there's a dimpling, that means small, there's a small, change. Small, small, small holes. That means there's a change in the breast, uh, the, the shape. Right. Okay, so it's also a sign. And also, um, you see your, your nipple has to be erect, mm -hmm. but if you see yours inverted or retracted inside, looking into the mirror, you see it's retracted inside. It's also giving an alert that you are at a, a a point of developing breast cancer oh. mm -hmm. and another one is when you 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 see a breast milk coming from your breast or any fluid coming from your breast and you are not breastfeeding mm -hmm. you are also not pregnant please you have to seek for help it's also a, a sign of breast cancer. right right so let's talk about um jaffa healthcare what, what uh, healthcare africa? yes please. what is it about Chafa Healthcare Africa is an organization. Mm -hmm. It started as a, a small group on campus, Legon, okay, right. in 2014. Actually, are, our main aim is to 
uh, create awareness on disease of public health importance. And we chose five different diseases because those diseases globally is, is a canker that we need to fight. Mm -hmm. So we chose the breast cancer, mm -hmm. cervical cancer, mm -hmm. tuberculosis, malaria, and HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. So since then, we've been creating awareness on social medias through mm -hmm. movie series on GTV, TV Africa is not left out, mm -hmm. and other social medias. We create awareness on these uh, five diseases. Right. Do you do screening? Yeah, please. We also do screening on cervical cancer, tuberculosis, mm -hmm. breast cancer, and we also screen um, on HIV and AIDS. For free? For free, please. Right. That's some good work there. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, let's say eight years. Wow. Wow. So um, is the screening limited to just Ghana? Because it's, you have Africa in there or you go to other countries as well. Okay. Uh, we have our, our partners in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. They also do the same as we do in Ghana. That comes the word Africa at the end of the All right. So, so um, the activities, take us through it. Is it going to be a week-long program? Okay. Jaffa Health Africa is having a, a health walk mm -hmm. to create awareness on breast cancer since we are in October. Right. Okay, so we are going to start from um, on the 29th. 29th of October this month. This, this month, which is Saturday, mm -hmm. 6 a.m., there will be a health walk mm -hmm. starting from Social Welfare Medina mm -hmm. across the principal street of Medina. Mm -hmm. will end at the municipal council. Mm -hmm. uh, and there we will be giving a lecture on uh, breast cancer, mm -hmm. a screening on breast cancer, and also be having some aerobic exercise since uh, overweight is also one of the risk of developing breast cancer. All right. So, so the people that you screen, do you give them any form of psychological help and how, how do you go about it? Okay, what we do is when, when we do the screening and we happen to find a problem with you, mm. we, we cancel you since we have experts uh, on breast cancer, mm. we cancel you and we refer you to the appropriate uh, quarters for help. Right, so um, each year you have a team. What's the team for this year's celebration? <laughs> this year's team celebration, mm. it's uh, we can, together we can, uh, living beyond breast cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you, uh, meaning that mm -hmm. we can't fight it alone. We all have to come on board. So. Right, right. So, do you have people um, sponsoring you, people who are helping you in any way? Yeah, for now, we are advocating for sponsorship. And uh, for this particular program, Randy Pharmacy is mm -hmm. helping. Kolebu uh, Cancer Unit is also helping. My own facility, Pentacles Hospital, is also helping. Uh, the health directors of Medina uh, Municipal Assembly is also helping. Then we also have um, uh, other uh, organizations like GTV. TV Africa is not left out, which is helping us as I'm here now. They yeah. are helping us. GTV Live and other social media partners yeah. are helping. Right. So, what are things we should do as women to avoid getting um, breast cancer? Okay. Breast cancer cannot be prevented entirely, yeah. but something can be done. Uh, when we stay away from the risk, like uh, stop smoking, because mm -hmm. when you smoke, there are about 69 chemicals in smoke that causes cancer, and breast yeah. cancer is not left out. So if you're a woman and you smoke, mm -hmm. you have to stay away from smoke. Mm -hmm. Somebody will say, I don't smoke, but you have been a partial smoker, a partial smoker before. Oh. Mm -hmm. And, and somebody will say, I don't smoke because I smoke once in a while and you are a social smoker. We all smoke. If you smoke, if somebody is smoking and you are there sniffing or breathing in the smoke, you are as well smoking. So you stay away from mm -hmm. um, smoking. And as a woman, you also have to put on your brazier size. It's mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. If you are a woman that wears a brazier size of 32, actually you have to go for 34 because the breast has mm -hmm. to be free and breathe fresh air so that you don't damage the tissues of the breast. Mm -hmm. And also, as a woman, when you give birth, you have to give your, breath, your, breast, mm -hmm. uh, your baby breast milk. It's mm -hmm. very, very important. In giving your breast milk to a child, mm -hmm. you are preventing yourself from getting breast cancer up to 43%. Mm -hmm. That's a very big uh, uh, figure. Mm -hmm. Then also, when you give uh, the breast milk to the child, you're also preventing the child from future uh, uh, cancer, okay, because we say obesity mm. is one of them, and when you give breast milk to your child, 
as it's a rough condition that a child will become obese. So mm. in, in other words, you are preventing yourself from breast cancer and your child also from breast cancer. All right, so, so let's talk about the men. Do they also get breast cancer? Yeah, it's, men also develop breast cancer, mm. but the, the figure is um, small, 0.5 to 1% mm. of men develop breast cancer because they also have breast tissues. Mm. So for them, they have to uh, also look at their breast. If they found anything like a lump in the breast or any abnormality of the breast, they should report because they are also at risk. It's only mm. that their risk is uh, minimal compared to that of a woman. Right. So you made mention of the fact that we should avoid smoking. But sometimes you go to places and then people are smoking. You have no choice than to inhale. Say something about that for us. Okay. Is it also a, a, a risk factor? Yes, please. Please, um, smoking, somebody is smoking. The person actually is an active smoker. And you that is uh, around where the person is smoking, you are also sniffing in the smoke. You are a, a passive smoker. So your risk and the person smoking is the same actually. Mm. So if I would advise that if you find yourself in a place that somebody is smoking mm -hmm. and, and you have to, you don't have any choice, at mm. least you can cover up, mm. you can cover up your nose, okay, so that mm. you don't take in much of the smoke because it puts you at a higher risk. What, what should we do as women or men in general to prevent this thing? Okay. I will say again that breast cancer cannot be prevented entirely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for us to re uh, reduce the risk of developing it, then we have mm -hmm. to stay away from the risk that we can do something about. The fact mm -hmm. that you are a woman, you can't change it. And the yeah. fact that you belong to a family that has this BRCA gene that um, how, cancer How do we even through. check this BRCA gene you are talking about? Okay, you can check this BRCA gene when you happen to have a family mm. that if, uh, a pe one person has died out of cancer and the second person has died out of cancer. You can just walk to the hospital and talk to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your doctor will request that test for you, and they will run it for you, and to know whether you, you also have that BRCA gene. Mm -hmm. And if you have that BRCA gene, that means all other risks, you have to stay far away from them. You right. don't smoke, mm -hmm. you breastfeed, mm -hmm. you wear your normal size brazier. You allow your you, husband or your man, does it work? Okay, that's mm -hmm. a nice question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, man, a man holding, uh, or, or holding the breast or play, playing with the breast doesn't mm -hmm. actually reduce the, your risk. But what we want them to do for us is... Mm -hmm. Like my husband would say, okay, I, I'm a, I, I feel something in your breast that I've never felt before. It looks mm. like there's a lump in your breast. But, but, but if he doesn't hold, if he doesn't massage it, he's, he's not going to. Yes. Mm. The, ma the men can massage it all right. Right. But massaging it, it's not just for you to massage, but <laughs> for you to get your feeling or the woman to get a feeling. See. But it's, only for, it's also for you to, when you massage whatever abnormality you find mm. in the breast, since the breast belongs to you, know it mm. better. Mm. Oh, you are pressing. Oh, today I found something here that I've never felt before. I do go and test and let's see, or go mm. and check and let's see. Mm. Then that you can help the person right. because we are advocating for mm. early identification, mm. early diagnosis, and mm. early treatment. Mm. So Actually, if that happens, the cure rate is above ninety percent. That's a good right. news. So, so the men, please don't just press for pressing sake. Help us, mm -hmm. help us. We have just some few minutes to go. Your last words. My last twist is that. Mm. Women, we are the doctor of our breasts. Right. It's for you to identify something and get to your doctor or a gynae mm. to assist you mm. to diagnose and for early treatment to commence. And together, we can fight this cancer called breast cancer. Right. Thanks so much for coming. We'll be there to, to support you. It's Thank a good cause. Thank you very much. So we'll much. be there. Right. So